Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to episode 9 of the Dark Souls 3 walkthrough lore through series. We are heading back to the Crucifixion Woods. We're gonna wrap this section up. I put on the Fallen Night gear. Um, I forgot to read the Great Swamp Ring that we got from the Crab. A ring that's said to be chiseled from the bone of flame salamander by blighted pyromancers living in the Great Swamp. Loose pyromancies. It's believed that salamanders are descendants of demons born of the chaos flame from which pyromancy is said to have origin or originated. Those are the pyro. That's Dark Souls 1. That is definitely Dark Souls 1. I don't know why you can't get bloodshotted, but um, we're gonna go this way. First. Looks like it's actually Hodrick to come and uh, help you. But, you know, this way. I am like cursing like crazy right now. That guy fell down. I did not. Oh no. Okay, come on. Here, we get an Estus shard. Now, this bad boy. That guy. An ember here in front of the fire. Now. Traveler. Before we go that way and up that way, this way. Go through here. Staff. We'll read all this once the area Annoying. It's still getting invaded here. I'm embered up. Gotta raise my vitality soon so I can wear the helm. This way. This guy. Get a wooden shield. Like I said, we'll. We'll read right before, uh... I want to find the Sorcerer NPC and bring him back to Fireland Shrine, obviously, and get some lore. Oh, wow. 
crazy. Forgot they had the crystal soul, or excuse me, the soul spear, not crystal spear attack, so be very careful. I was very sloppy. Oh, we see there. We're gonna drop down here. This. Sacrifice. Slumbers ahead. Yep, we've already. Been. Oh, thank you. Morning side. Actually, this way is to get that item. It's over there. That we'll get. Actually, let's go do that right now. Actually, once we. So it's totally okay. Go this way. Heal up all the way. Do we need to get it done with, right? And it's the Golden Falcon Shield. Really cool shield. Sage ring here. And the sorcerer is set. Like I said, we'll read everything once we get a chance, and it's safe. <laughs> you don't want to do it in a place where you can get invaded. This way. Now we can go to get our sorcerer friend. He's here. There he is. Great. Well, this is unexpected. I don't often have visitors. You have to have ten intelligence to be able to recruit him. What do you want? This is my study that you've happened upon. If you haven't any business, I've reading to get back to. Really interesting. How intriguing. Very well. Indeed, I am a sorcerer. With plenty to share. However, what champion demands service without recompense? Clearly, you're not that sort of man. So you will make me a promise that in exchange for my teaching, you will bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing sorcery's secrets. Well, can you assure me of this? Very well. Make a promise. You're no fool. I take it you understand the weight of a promise. I am Orbeck, of Vinheim. Of Vinheim, okay. Unkindled so one. Vinheim. I shall teach you sorceries. We will learn together. It shall be like our very own school. We shall learn. I just wrecked his entire job over here. It's really interesting because of the boss in this area. And, you know, the location of this area. Um, I'm... I don't know where we are in the world. I mean, we're not by the Duke's archives. You know, the 
this isn't Finheim, obviously. It's going to be a mage for a boss, so... Um, I'm just perplexed as to where are we in the world here. And Egon of Kareem's son of sign is here. He can actually help us with... Mage and uh, the Crystal Sage actually boss fight. So I've never summoned him. Why not? I mean, it's gonna make the boss a little stronger. So why not? He's really cool. I love his armor. disappeared. That's crazy. So let's get the bonfire here. Let us rest. And go back to Firelink Shrine. Um, we'll start going to the Cathedral of the Deep, but do this first. And we've noticed now Awkward's not here. Or no, there he is. Welcome home, speak. Very well. Then take none. Now we gotta get the vitality up. Like. And I wear a helmet now. I can't. 
wonderful. Very rats back. Oh. oh, hello. You've come at a good time. It took some prowling, but I finally made a score. Go on, have a gander. So he's got some new stuff, which is really cool. He's actually got the Pontiff Knight Curve Sword. I love this sword. It's a really cool dex weapon. It has um, a uh, sorcery intelligence scaling uh, on it. Curved sword wielded by the Pontiff Knights, frigid spirits that linger in Irithyll. Large blade that appears to be eaten away by insects, making it lightweight but brittle. Skill of frost. Six chime. Cast a miracle, a caster learns the tale of the gods. It says a prayer to be blessed with revelations of faith, of supplicant, effects, the strength, miracle. Goodbye. Oh, this place. Now we see Yol of Londor is dead. We have a new character here. Oh, pretty. Art thou good yours, master? I am Yoria of Londor, a close friend of his. Thanks to thee, your soul is redeemed. Allow me to express my gratitude in his stead. Another matter. That a lord art thou not? Bearer of the dark sigil. And our Lord of Hollows. We've become the Lord of Hollows now. For the time thou remainst, our Lord, we of Londor shall serve thee. And I, of course, am also thine. But now we can buy poison throwing knives from her. We can actually get the Londor Braille Divine Tome, which we can give to Irene of Kareem. Braille Tomb of Tom Londor, first spoken by Lillian of the Sable Church. Give this to the storyteller to learn miracles in Londor. This is a forbidden tomb, Tom, as it offers salvation at all hollows and conversely curses all living things. So we'll buy it. Um, she also, interestingly, has a dark hand. Who has a dark hand? The Dark Raids. Weapon that allows its wielder to evoke an art unique to Londor, which is totally new Londo then. This is just a confirmation, right? The Land of the Hollow is also said to be an ancient relic of the Primordial Serpent. Dark Souls 1 right there. The Dark Hand mercilessly saps its essence and its victims and can also double as a wood. A shield that cannot be used to hand. She says the untrue Dark Rain. Uh, one, uh, one of the illusory rings worn by the Hollows of Londor retain human appearance while hollow. The Hollows of Londor are wretchedly aged, fraught with deceit, and dubiously secretive. It's no wonder that they are deeply detested. And the untrue white ring, one of the illusory rings worn by the Hollows of Londor, take the appearance of a phantom. The Hollows of Londor are wretched, aged, fraught with deceit, and dubiously secretive. It's no wonder that they're deep. She also has a purging stone which cures curse. Uh, ash colored stone encasing its skull produces undead curse buildup. Cures hollowing. Inhabitants of Londor in the land of hollows use the secret treasure to feign normalcy. Occasionally the hollow fools in themselves turns and turns on its own kind. Oh, good hollow. I'm afraid I must say. Orbeka Vinheim is a cause of much consternation. He proclaimeth himself Lord of Hollows. If left alone, he may one day imperil thy rule. Fall to this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Decisiveness is the mark of a true monarch. That's interesting. So she's saying that uh, Orbeck, who we just recruited, has said that. Said he's the Lord of Orbeck Hollows. Orbeck of Vinheim is a cause of much consternation. If left alone, he may one day imperil thy rule. So she's trying to get us to kill Orbeck. Fall to this matter yearly, else we are unraveled. Till we meet again. He's got an awesome weapon. You can kill her for a weapon. Sigil guide thee. Actually, the backdraft. 
katana. Go find one. Let's go give the tomb the tones. There we go. Yes. Oh, you're back then. Again. I'm Orbeck of Vinheim, here to teach you sorceries. Let us begin with the basics. The ideal sorcerer bears the twin faces of the dragon. It... Oh, you could at least act as if you're paying attention. It is folly to claim lives recklessly, friend. Do not be tempted. No matter the victim's stature, every killing as a consequence. Don't worry, we won't kill you. Even as I bloodied my hands, I never realized the simple truth. There I was, the very definition of a fool. I don't mean to seem overbearing, but have you forgotten? In exchange for my sorceries, you are to bring me knowledge in the form of scrolls detailing the secrets of sorcery. I hope you're not one to break a promise. I don't mean to see my winning in the fire. That's all hold. Helps, but we've got some Farron darts here. Um, developed by the Sorcerer of Undead Legion of Farron, Fire Soul Dart, well known amongst Farron sorceries. It's learned far wide due to its principles. Come again. Welcome back. Do you wish to hear a tale? You only have to ask. You know, in my home of Karim, I would know that if I had a di- Oh, terribly sorry. Oh, what's this? Champion of Ash, this divine tome is forbidden. These are dark tales of things that lurk deep within men. These stories would not please you. Of course, if you insist, I will read them for you. Only... Oh, oh, they frighten me so. The little creatures that nibble at me in the darkness. I do want to get this dark blade, but it needs 25 things. Miracle of the Sable Church of Londor reinforces right uh, weapon with dark. Third daughter Lillian, one of the founders of the Sable Church, said to recount tales that portray the suffering and conflict of hollows. Miracle of the Sable Church prevents spells in the vicinity, including one's own members of the Sable Church are trained swordsmen be sworn by their weapons as they bear the Legion's island of Londor. And dead again. Sacrilegious miracle of the Sable Church of Londor. Blessed corpses transforming them into traps. Londor the Hollow Realm is a society of undead compromised of corpses and shades of those who led unsavory lives. Is this the blessing? Really something one must ponder? So is this... I believe this is... Journey, I pray for your... And this is actually going to change her. Um, but... Giving her the dark one. Um... So that's confirmation that's new, new Londo, right? So, let's talk to Hawkwood. Gaining admission to the Legion is a... Evi... <laughs> oh, he's going to here. Now invade and come. Uh, see what we can transpose. Aha, that looks so. Get the crystal sage rapier. Rusting sword of tiny crystals scattered across the blade and use crystal sages for self-defense. The crystals boost the magic to damage inflicted by the sword and an item discovery of the wielder fruits of lifetime research conducted by sages. And this is also unique sorcery. The 
developed by the extraordinary preacher twins knows as the crystal sages. So they're preacher twins. They're twins. Uh, cast a cascade of small crystal soul masses from the above. Crystal soul masses have piercing qualities. In fact, said to have been long ago. One of the sages, allied with the undead legion, ordered a train of sorcerers up there. Oh, I'll actually get this. Now, oh, now. Alright, now. Go back. Oh, no, we have a Estus Shard. My apologies. Bring that in real quick. Back. That is what neat. Pretty. Thanks, Andre. Okay. Now let's head to the cathedral. We're not doing the cathedral. And I have to read Solaire's armor. Completely forgot I did that. Or I haven't done that. Alright. Here. Don't believe we can pass this point. See, there's crystal lizards right there. which is very important. Oh, wait. Come back, don't get stuck. me in a corner I couldn't see I couldn't even I was trying to I was frantically pressing the dodge button um that was a lose-lose situation right there that was frustrating lose-lose situation try to lure him Where's your other guy? Come on. Nothing. Uh. 
I believe. I'm gonna get a couple of... Not invaders, but, uh... NPC lookalikes. We'll take care of these guys first. We'll rest here. We're at the Cathedral of the Deep. And, uh... Get this guy first. We're in the Fall Night set. Umbral Ash worn out by a paladin who sought the Cathedral of the Deep with this shrine handmaid and will prepare new items. The paladin paid quite a price for his headstrong justice. There's another. Here. Brigand. Spider shield. Very cool. We'll actually end the episode here. Uh, we'll go back to Firelink Shrine and get the ash in the next episode, but let's read the spider shield. Shield marrying a large etching of a spider. Shields of this style are commonly used to savage mountain bandits and offer high resistance to poison. Guys, thank you so much for watching. We're going to tackle the Cathedral of the Deep. Next episode, or try to, it's a pretty large area. See you on the next one. Take care.